Hey guys, <clears throat> Seraphis here. I'm sure like most people that work with the DAW know that somewhere along the line, you're gonna start adding layers, you're gonna start adding plugins, and you're gonna start bobbing down, stuttering, skipping, doing its thing, and it's annoying. You can freeze tracks, you can try to start removing plugins, whatever you can do to try to help things, close all background programs. Sometimes it just doesn't seem to help. But um, there's something that you can try that works for me most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. And I wouldn't have found out about it if I um, wasn't a gamer. Uh, game anymore, but I used to. But if you've got any Razer peripherals, like a Razer keyboard, Razer mouse and stuff, you might already know about this. But there's a program you can download from Razer's website that's free called Cortex. And what it does is it allows you to boost your system. It's mainly to boost your system for game, better gameplay. But um, a dog can pull on your system just as much as a high quality game does. So what you do is once you get installed, come in here to System Booster first, and you can do a system clean, which is basically the same thing that Windows does. Cleans up the junk files, and your recycle bin. It's not going to do a whole lot here because I just did this earlier, but it'll just give you an idea what it's going to do. Once it's done, see, look at this, I'm going to do a whole lot, but it always does something every time. We'll clean that up. Then the second thing you want to do is come in here to speed up. And it's going to 63 items will be optimized. I'll let you go through all this once you get installed to see what it's going to do. But um, basically, it, all the stuff that's running in the background of Windows, it will either optimize it or disable it. Take care of that. You can also defrag if you've got um, a game law. Like I said, it's mainly for gaming, but it's going to defrag your games. It's not going to defrag your whole system, I don't think. And this will tell you what your system's running. It's 16 gigs of RAM there. I thought my system wouldn't have any kind of problems with latency or anything like that. Wrong. But then you come up here to Game Booster. And 28 things will be optimized. Now, a warning here. Um, I did this earlier. As you get on this list, you're going to see all kind of stuff that you can check to um, disable that will boost RAM. And I wasn't paying attention, and I disabled everything. Oh, my, my windows almost practically shut down. Uh, my camera did shut down. My OBS studio that I used to record here, it shut down. I was, oops. So, um, it's going with the recommended settings. That's why it's not um, lit up here. But I made sure and checked that before I started the video because I didn't want the video to be stopped again. It's like the second time I've had to try it. But um, go in here and click boost now. And it usually gives me at least a gig, sometimes two, depending on what's running in the background. Because like I said, it's gonna go with the, um, the recommended one. It doesn't want to shut down anything that you're gonna need, especially your DAW. I mean, that's why you're doing it to begin with. So it gave me almost two gigs of RAM there that I can really use on my DAW. And then to undo it, you just click Restore now when you're done, finished working with the song or whatever you're doing. And it's helped immensely. Sometimes I'll even forget about it. Um, so I, a lot of times I'll try to boost before I go in and start working with the song, just you know, to have it right there as a kind of a, a backup. But um, I'm working in the DAW and that stuff starts with the skipping, stuttering, and becomes so frustrating because I just wanted to play the song, play it out so I can hear it, know if it's doing all right. And you know, it, 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 it does that shit. So yeah, um, I'll go in, click this, it frees up that little bit of RAM, and sometimes it's just, I just need that little bit of RAM. So if you didn't know about this, little tip that you might try. Um, I know you've probably tried to freeze tracks and everything else like we all do, and sometimes it just doesn't work. But this might work for you. So give it a shot. Go to Razor.com. Um, I forget where you go in there, but somewhere into the download and download Cortex and get it installed and see if it works for you. If you don't, you can always just uninstall it and at least you tried something. So yeah.